to Crazy Towns 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. I don't mind the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. Do. I'm going to shoot right at you on this one. You're going to so, shoot me? Yeah, I'm going to shoot you. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, what video game oh. did not live up to the hype? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Uh, for me, it would be the last Assassin's Creed. Uh, that's that's a very easy one for me to put out there. Yeah, because it yeah it was like it was like the uh, the game before it with less. Yes, and the game before there was like uh, like a cop system. Yeah, and you know it's so funny because like people people make a lot of fun of us. <laughs> Joe, you picked a topic that I can talk about. I know right? that's why I said I'm coming right at you. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people complain about the Assassin's Creed because they say that they've lost the idea of what Assassin's Creed was, and I tend to agree with them because it was just a stealth. Yeah, it did focus a lot more on stealth, and um, like. When you got like, I guess like the equivalent to like having stars in GTA, there was actually an air of danger when like the guards would come for you, no matter how what level. I mean, because you really there was no level progression in your character, so no matter where you were, it was always dangerous to engage too many different cops at one time. Now you always had the option to just run away and escape, and it seems like in the last couple of iterations of Assassin's Creed, they've just kind of left that ideal behind. It's just like an adventure game. Yeah, the uh, the one the one that was like medieval times, not be uh, group. Uh, Greece. Yeah, that's the that one. That one had to add cops. It did. But then the next one we went to do for the channel, and it was you were like, I can just do whatever I want. And there's no consequence. No like, consequences whatsoever. Yeah, which which is weird. And it was like it's so it it was so big, and it was just like it was too much. Well, Boss. well, yeah, we had just done Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and like it was. Yeah, that game was huge, and I, I but I love that game, and I love getting into that world, and there was very interesting things like the I, I still to this day remember the Sphinx puzzle, the Sphinx puzzle, and I remember like the Cyclops. That yeah, I had and, to fight. and the caves and stuff. Yeah, yeah that. That game held me because I really like mythology, and that yes. game was cool like that. And then, yeah. yeah, the other one was like Vikings, so there really it was wasn't... North, it got into some Norse mythology. So it wasn't really a lot going on in that game. Yeah, not from what you saw. There's definitely more in that game, but still, it was just like, you, you just stop it. Stop giving me these giant open world games, and then, of course, now I'm playing uh, Elden Ring for the channel, yeah, which but is that's... just a giant open world yeah, <laughs> adventure but game. I think, I think that's the problem, is like, everything's went to just like, here, here's this giant world, and you're right. like, wow, this is nice and all, this is great. Yeah, but it takes me 900 hours to play through it, and yes. it, there's not enough interesting content to keep me engaged for that 900 is, hours. That is something you have to be concerned about. Now, see, and that's a lot of people's uh, idea about the new um, was it Saints Saints Row that's out. Oh, did they put out a new one? I didn't even yeah. know. Yeah, and so the new Saints Row came out like what, like two weeks ago? I think um, probably a little bit longer. Is this Saints on. Row like seven? <laughs> I don't remember the name of it, to be honest with you. I have no intention on buying it or playing it. Um, but I did pay through the third, and I paid through the, played through the first one. And I enjoy both of those gameplays, um, obviously, years and years ago. But it seems like the new one is more of an open world, and it's just not enough to fill it up. And it's like your level caps out before you can even get all the activities done. And then there's no incentive to do activities. There's a thin balancing act that comes when, when putting a game together. Yeah, people are like, oh, well, there's a million things to do, but like you just said, and I ran into this in old mm. games, like when I, used, I think it was like Borderlands 2, maybe. Is one mm. of, it's like, yeah, you you cap out, and then you're like, well, I know you're going to raise the cap eventually. I yeah. don't want to play now and not get my levels that's, that's because I'm not gaining any. Once you stop progressing, that's a good point. the game's over. Exactly. Like, it doesn't matter if yeah. you have 80% of the content left. Yeah. Game's over to me. Yeah, unless you're an achievement hunter, and there are people that are. Yeah. Uh, another game that failed, uh, Halo. The new Halo? Oh, yeah. 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 That multiplayer, uh, was, yeah. It, it was... It, Disappointing. It, it, <laughs> it felt like I was playing a game from 2007. Um, because it is a game from 2007. Halo didn't change, man. It didn't change. It didn't change, and it needed to. And that's why when Destiny 1, I have to compare it to Destiny 1, Bungie left Halo, gave it to 232 or whatever, and they went and they made Destiny. And when Destiny 1 came out, I remember on like day, week one, I'm like, yo, this is basically Halo, but better. Halo Plus. It's Halo, but better. You have way more different guns. Um, there's you get three to, classes, so there's, there's, yeah. Three classes with all these cool powers, plus you get to choose which guns you bring into battle. You don't have to run up to a wall to grab a gun. 
if there's nothing, well, I mean, there are modes in that, but if there's nothing I hate more is having to run up to a wall to find a gun or fighting in a long corridor to get a gun. Yeah. To get a sniper rifle that I can maybe get two kills with. Yeah. Yeah. Versus man. Just bringing the sniper white rifle with me and having to find well, ammo for it. I remember when we played the uh, Halo beta multiplayer for the new game, we were like, yeah, this is fun. But then I think we literally just went and played Destiny 2 multiplayer because it's, it's the same thing, but better. It, it is. It is. It is. It really is. Like, yeah. I don't know how they didn't improve. They were just like, oh, people love it. And yeah, they did. <laughs> they they did. really did. Like a long time ago. <laughs> and like I was one of those people. I loved Halo, but you know what? Yeah. Dude? I didn't play Halo for the single player game. And I don't what have you heard about how the oh, single player Halo Infinite game is? Is it I good? Don't, don't, I don't even think they have one yet, man. It still isn't out? I don't no, think I thought they, they put that out. out. But I think it's I only single know. player. I don't think there's a multiplayer. Oh, think, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so then you put out a game that's always been co op, four players, yeah, 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 put yeah. out a campaign single player only. Yeah. What that's the what F it was. Yeah. And then uh Yeah, man, like I I uh yeah I, I couldn't I couldn't get back into it even though it was free I did see that there's some hate online about Overwatch though the new uh, Overwatch coming out uh so Overwatch let it leak um actually Overwatch two comes out uh next month yeah fourth. like in a month yeah yeah on the fourth they let it leak that uh they are doing the well they le they let it know that they're doing battle passes now which is fine they're also going free to play so the battle pass about ten bucks. You have to buy it maybe every couple months or so uh -huh. for a season. But they're putting new characters that they make. They're putting them on the battle pass track, which means that when the character is released, not everybody will have access to that character immediately. Right. Um, so people were concerned. Does this mean that if you don't buy the battle pass that you won't be granted access to certain characters in Overwatch? Absolutely. Which is kind of nuts. Because the game, it's always just been like, we drop a character, play it. And now it's going to be like, we dropped a character, battle pass. But it turns out is that they are putting the character on the free track of the battle pass. But people are still like, but so if I don't grind to get the character, then I don't get it. I'm like. What does a battle pass do? So a battle pass is essentially you pay them $10 for nothing and you have, you have access to, um, it's a, like a checklist of achievements that you have to complete in order to get a reward. So win five games, you get a skin for a character that you, that you like Win 10 games. Um, you get some in-game currency, um, get 10 assists and you get maybe like a charm for your gun or something like that. Okay, gotcha. And that each, and as you, as you go through, you start checking them off. And then eventually once you get to like the page one, boom, you get the new, you get access to the new character, Kiriko. And it's, it's like, uh, I mean, I get it. Like it's the same thing that, uh, um, the game we played Fortnite, Fortnite has been doing it for years. Fortnite had a battle pass. I bought a couple of them. Okay. Um, and they're usually like, like I said, it's like ten bucks, but it's usually granted only like games that are free to play. Like you don't want to pay sixty bucks and then have a battle pass. Well, right. That's a and much. I get if you're not paying to buy the game. Yeah. That there's a, that there's a paid element to it, right? Yeah. And I love like I'm fine with microtransactions in free games that do not increase your stats. Yes. If you want to pay, if you want to say, here's my game, it's free. Here's all this BS crap you can buy that does nothing to your performance, mm -hmm. and that's how we're gonna make money. Fine. GTA was a great model of that. You know, you can get anything you want and grind for it, but you yes. can buy money and they give you all the content for free. I feel like, yeah, okay, so that is true. They gave you all the extra content for free. The game you did have to pay for and you did not have to play the multiplayer. So multiplayer was optional. It was not the main game, even though it soon became the main that, game. That's really all there is now is GTA but it's, Online. Yeah, it's, it's more of like a question of how much grind so it's like how far is the new character up the free track to the battle pass is it win five games i get the character or and if i want to pay the ten dollars i can bypass those five games i guess maybe that'd be okay is it going to be like uh how much do you actually have to grind is it actually just winning five games or is it winning 10 games winning 20 games? It, you have to put 30 hours of play in eventually because exactly, get... gta is notorious for that it's oh like, dude oh, you know how long i, I grinded get to get that goddamn attack helicopter exactly oh my god dude rooftop be... rumble over and over and over and right over what's and the over? best bang for my buck right rooftop rumble yeah, over dude, it was and over. and then after i got it i stopped playing the game i was like yeah i don't 
don't want to do this anymore. Exactly. And I'm not paying a hundred dollars for like a million dollars in in-game currency when a, a one car costs a million dollars. Yeah. I've put money into cosmetics and games before. Um, you know, as I see fit. Never put a dime into uh to uh, GTA. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Because you paid for the game. Exactly. Yeah, dude. I uh. But anyways, oh, you know, I did see real quick before we go that yeah. new character Kiko or whoever you Kiko. You, I saw a a, a, a yeah. thing on Reddit where someone was like, "Oh boy, another another character looks like a hentai character." And then and then right <laughs> below it, the guy the next comment was like, "I can't, can't wait, wait for the rule thirty four on this." And I was like, "Bro, <laughs> yeah. dude." Oh my god! Yeah, I'll be looking on it up. the internet are filthy. <laughs> Events, dude, dude. That's why uh dude statue had its crotch rubbed a yeah, thousand exactly. times. Exactly. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to the Craze Town.com for Jonas. Gene Gray. TNT. <laughs> Shut up. We out. Here. We out.